Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the item or product master's creation options. Before we begin, let's understand about the need of item masters and the usage of this particular activity. In every industry, you need to maintain quantitative details of items or products you are dealing with. This allows you to manage your inventory items efficiently and make necessary adjustments to effectively utilise your financial resources. Therefore, in Item Master, we set up the item profile for each item with all the available data at hand. This is normally a one-time process at the time of a new item addition and this library of data is extensively used to capture, generate and auto-generate the required documents and reports in desired formats. The key functions of an Item Master's module are Creation of a new item or product profile Modification of an existing item or product profile Deletion of an existing item or product profile Make item bundles consisting of different items or quantity. We will be going through each of these sets of information in detail. If you are in the inventory drop-down, you will need to select item and the screen which appears looks like this. New item master. You can see the new item option at the top right of the screen. Click on this option and you will be directed to select an item category. As you can see, items or products are divided into four broad categories. Inventory. You should keep those items under this category for which you want to maintain inventory records and generate various reports for further analysis. Under this category, outward document of an item will be allowed to be generated only if you have sufficient stock in hand of that item. Non-inventory. If you do not want to maintain inventory records and do not need any report on an item, keep that under this category. Service. These are basically not an item, but only a description of services you are getting or rendering. Since these are only descriptive and not a physical item, no inventory records will be maintained for these items. Bundle. If you are purchasing different types of items and selling them in a bundle in promotions or combinations, you'll need to create different bundles of those promotions or combinations. For example, you are purchasing soaps, detergent powder, hand wash liquid and Harpic. Now, you can make a bundle of four items at a consolidated price, say soaps 12 pieces, detergent powder 2 kilograms, hand wash liquid 1 piece and Harpic 1 bottle. For billing purposes, you have to make this bundle as one item and have to give a name to this bundle. At the time of making outward entries, when you will enter a code or a name of a bundle, the system will automatically pick the different quantities of different items defined in that bundle. Click on an item category under which you want to create a new item or product. You'll be directed to the relevant item creation screen. Here, you will have six relevant sections where all the required data pertaining to a new item can be captured. We will go by basic first. Name. Enter the item or product name by which you identify it better. Under Group. Select a group from the drop-down list under which you want to group this item for reporting. If the required group does not exist in the list, you can create a new group by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. You can make indefinite levels of grouping for your items and, at any stage, if you do not want to go for further grouping, select Default as your last group level. Category if you want to classify your item or products on any criteria and group them on that criteria, you can make different categories and select a category to which the item or product belongs. If you do not want to maintain categories, keep it default. If the required category does not exist in the list, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Type Select from the drop-down the item nature, i.e. whether it is a finished product, raw material, service item, etc. If you are creating a bundle item, this field will not be available. Code. 
This is generally a system-generated code and is disabled, i.e. you can't edit it unless at the time of company configuration, company setup, then inventory, then basic, you have opted to enter your item coding configuration as manual. If you have selected manual coding of your items, enter a seven digit code for this item, which can be alpha or numeric. Separate pack unit. Keep this on if you want to maintain inventory for this item in two units, for example, bags and kilograms. This field is available only if you have configured separate packing unit on in configuration, then company setup, then inventory, then basic. Also, if you are creating a service item or a bundle item, this field will not be available. Inactive. Select on if you want to make an item inactive. During any business transaction, such inactive item names will not appear in your list of items. You can reactivate them again by selecting off. Stock unit. Select a unit in which the item will be measured for inventory purposes, i.e. pieces, kilograms, meter, etc. If the required unit does not exist in the list, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop down menu. Pack unit. Select a packing unit in which the item will be measured for inventory purposes, i.e., bags, boxes, etc. If the required unit does not exist in the list, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop down menu. This field is available only if you have kept separate pack unit on. Stock V or S pack. If you are using separate packing units, enter the number of stock units per pack unit. Example, 100 kilograms in a bag. If you are creating a bundle item or a service item, this field will not be available. GST classification. Enter the GST classification code of the item. If the required GST classification does not exist in the list, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop down menu. This field is available only if you have configured tax applicable in sales or purchase on, in configuration, then company setup, then general. Logo or photo. Here you can upload a photo of your item or product or its brand logo. Select a file, JPEG or PDF, containing the photo or logo by browsing from the desired space. Please note that the file or logo file size should not exceed 2 megabytes. We are now finished with the basic part and have made a unique identification for the item. We will now set some extra features of the items for sales related documents. Description. Enter the item description which you would like to print in your sales related documents. If you want to print only the item name as entered above, you may keep this field blank. Sales GL. Enter a general ledger from the drop down list where you would like to post the sales of this item. This field is available only if you have configured posting ledger based on item in configuration, then company setup, then sales setup, then basic. Sales rate. If you are not maintaining separate sales price lists, you can enter a sales rate of this item here, which will automatically be picked while creating any sales document. Extra charges or discount fields. If you have set any item-wise extra charges and or discounts in configuration, then company setup, then sales setup, then billing setup, item level, those extra discounts or charges will appear here under the caption set by you. You can enter a rate of such charges or discounts for this item here, which will automatically be picked while creating any sales document. We are now finished with setting extra features of item for sales related documents. We will now set some extra features of item for purchase related documents. If you are creating a bundle item, this section of getting input will not be available. Description. Enter the item description which is generally printed in your purchase related documents. If only the item name as entered above is printed in your purchase documents, you may keep this field blank. Purchase GL. Select a general ledger from the drop down list where you would like to post the purchase of this item. This field is available only if you have configured posting ledger base on item in configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, 
than basic. Purchase rate. If you are not maintaining separate purchase price lists, you can enter a purchase rate of this item here, which will automatically be picked while creating any purchase document. Extra charges or discount fields. If you have set any item-wise extra charges and or discount in configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, then billing setup item level, those extra charges or discounts will appear here under the caption set by you. You can enter a rate of such charges or discounts for this item here, which will automatically be picked while creating any purchase document. We are now finished with setting extra features of item for purchase related documents. We will now set some extra features of item for inventory maintaining purposes. This set of information will be asked only for inventory items and not for non-inventory, service or bundle items. Minimum level. Enter the minimum stock level required for this item. This field is available only if you have configured minimum stock levels on in company setup, then inventory, then basic. Serial tracking. If you want to track a serial number for this item, keep this option on. This field is available only if you have configured item serial number tracking on in configuration, then company setup, then inventory, then item extended property. Batchwise inventory. If you want to maintain batchwise inventory on this item, keep it on. This field is available only if you have configured batchwise inventory on in configuration, then company setup, then inventory, then item extended property. Batchwise rate. If you want to maintain batchwise rate on this item, keep it on. This field is available only if you have configured batchwise inventory on in configuration, then company setup, then inventory, then item extended property. We are now finished with setting extra features for item inventory maintaining purpose. We will now look for custom fields. If you have selected any user defined extra fields at the time of company configuration, configuration, then company setup, then inventory, then item master custom fields, that number, maximum five fields of UDF fields, would be visible and you can enter the relevant details against those fields. Here is one thing to remember, that if you have opted allow blank no against any of the UDF fields in setup, then while creating item master, you have to provide the information under that user defined field, UDF or to say that you cannot keep that field blank. Click on save to save the values. Clear. Before clicking this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. The moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Click on print to print the document prepared by you. Import. Click on import to import data and select a file from which the data is to be imported. Click on the X to exit from the new item master form. We will now look for bundle details. Show child description in documents. As described in the beginning of this document, the bundle is created making combinations of different items. In your sales documents, if you want to show the details of all the items of a bundle, check here. Now, let's understand how you can make a bundle. Item. In the table, select an item to be included in the proposed bundle. Quantity. Enter the quantity of the selected item to be included in your bundle. You can select as many items as you want to include in the bundle and specify the quantity to be included. Click on Add Lines to add more lines in the table. We are now finished with setting bundle details. We are now back to the main screen for the item master. Edit. If you wish to edit an item detail, click on the pencil icon. The item details will be opened in edit mode and you can make the required changes and click on save to save the changes made by you. If you think that this record is no more required, you can delete the record by clicking on delete. Delete. If you wish to delete an item profile, click on the X and confirm the deletion. It is advisable not to delete an item profile. You can always opt to make it inactive.
Export. Click on the Excel icon to export the data as visible in the list to an Excel sheet. Search. Type a text to search a particular record. Group. If you want to group your display on any particular field, hold that field and drag a little up outside the grid. Your display will be grouped on that field. To remove the groupings, drag the field back into the grid column. Sort. If you want to sort data on a particular field, click on the label of that field. Your data will be sorted on that field. You can reverse the order of sorting by just double clicking on the label of that particular field. Click on X to exit from the item master. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!